Hello there. This is Sean from Sean's Travels, and here's the base board and military museum. Look, my model club's not the only one that was in the model tanks. Yeah. And then, of course, you have all the real life tanks all over, see? Of course, I'll get more when I'm outside. Look, that looks almost like the bison I drove at 21EW. And if it indeed does have eight wheels. Oh, see, only six, so not quite. Look, a gun carriage. All the patches of infantry divisions, see, armored and everything. Huh. Don't you find one RCR in here somewhere? All right, PBC Lai. It's around somewhere. Let's let's see if there's a mention of it. Well, I couldn't find it, but here's some more tanks across the entire hall. It's neat that they have them all displayed here. Oh, Gray and Simcoe Foresters, that's the uh, Simcoe County Regiment. Oh, look, look, look at this! Canadian Postal Corps, of which I am a member. There you go, that's good. So that's from uh, World War II. Oh, look, 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 an old sign. Camp Borden. Canadian Army. Well, Royal Canadian Infantry Corps, yeah. That would have probably been what RCR was part of. Signals, that's what I was part of in the early part of my career. Hmm. Trying to get a good picture of that one. There we go. So how much I have room for? I'm in three minutes in. I have about ten minutes left of footage. Ah, oh, that's neat. The Remy symbol. Okay. So I guess that's all for now. Walking by the various tanks and everything. Oh, they just had enough space to bring this one in. Its muzzle is almost entirely pointed at the wall. And a whole range of tanked and treaded vehicles here. When I'm uh, outside. Okay, I'm back outside now. And uh, going to get pictures and video of the vehicles that are around here. And hopefully each one has a, its own plaque. And hopefully I'll be able to see on the screen what I'm looking at to make sure it's all in frame. Okay, so CF5. Here's a plaque. Oh, it retired in 95. Okay. So it looks quite different than the than the uh, CF18, that's for sure. And of course, there's the Sea King helicopter, which amazingly enough is still used. Even though it's probably 60 years old or more, but then again, we use the the CF-18s, which are almost as old as I am. <laughs> and of course, as you know, the, the U.S. President uses a Sea King as well. Marine Force One, I believe it's called. 
Wow. Oh, look, there's the Canadian Forces symbol. See? Was that? Actually, yeah, the Air Force symbol. When, when we deployed in early 21, we took a gray Air Force passenger plane. But when we came back, we had the bright colored one, which some said was the Prime Minister's plane. So, that was good. And now I'll wander through the whole tree farm and then go beyond the building and get the rest of the vehicles. Yeah, here we go. The tree park and all the plaques show the different kinds of trees and all the information about them. Try to get at the corner and take a good picture. And if I got a good picture of the Sea King, that will be the, uh, the thumbnail for the video, I imagine. There's that gazebo I saw earlier today, so I can take the path right around it and then get across the road and see the other vehicles over there. That's what I'll do. Yeah, so yesterday was my first day of work at the Borden base. Now is my first day of relocation leave at this end. And some of these plaques, as you can see, they're just, they're blank. It's like they're waiting for uh, information. See? See, there's what the plaque looks like when it has information. Let's just wander to the central gazebo here and go beyond. So that's good. They have a a plaque and a picture of each kind of tree and there's another picture with the I don't know if you can see the butterfly flying or not yeah it's quite nice as the trees grow up you know a lot of them are quite new some of them are still have metal stakes and everything through the gazebo now. It's quite warm today, so I'll take the path up there and I'll go across that way and cross the road and then take the path up the hill behind the museum building and we'll go from there. And there's the other part of the section and back where we came from, of course, with the museum building in the background. And I took a picture of the big green map in front of it so that... Now that map doesn't exactly label all the buildings on the base, it just names the museum pieces all through the base. At a quick glance I counted about 150. And there's our first uh, vehicle. That looks a very... That's a very U.S. Army pattern, of course. With the brown and the black and the green. You know, it's nice that when these vehicles and everything are retired, they actually uh, put them in museums so they can be preserved. Oh, there's a nice tree, the one with all the berries. It's hard for me to see the counter as to how much I have left. There's a better picture of the uh, tank there. I can see it on the screen, so that's good. Vehicles down there. If I walk along the road, I'll get a good view of them before I get into the park there. And of course there's some of these as well. Alright, back we go towards the path. The path that goes up the hill. The one I saw yesterday. I've seen this thing at uh, the regiment. Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm. All right. So if we go up the path, we'll be on top of the hill. The hill I saw yesterday, and we'll see what's up here. 
and then I'll come back down and go around to the other vehicles which I saw yesterday before I actually reported to work. And I mean, it goes all the way over there too, which reminds me of Cold Lake, of course, and there's the, the walking path. Starting in 06. Look at how many died in Afghanistan. Easily half the number. I know. All ISAF. Hmm. If I don't get down there, here's a picture. And you see it's, it's trouble looking at the... Uh, hard to tell on the screen. Ah, here's the steps down. All right, so I will wander through there first, and then I'll do the upper level. And there's Major General Worthington's statue, after whom this park is named. And if you look, well, I guess that's probably his tomb there. And that's probably his wife. Hmm. Well, there you go. He's in a place of honor. That's great. So now we go down, now we go down, Worthington, Worthington Barracks. I've heard that name before. This is quite nice, the, the steps and the tanks and everything. And of course I was over there yesterday at the library, so I got a slight preview of this area, but not the whole thing. Well, from within the shadow of the screen, let's get some good pictures because I can actually see the screen for once. Now, I must say that the, the vehicles here at Borden, oh, look, it's the Afghanistan Memorial up there. I'll climb the steps and take a look. Here, here's a good... Uh, Picture to uh, Worthington Park, right? 